He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. That's a, a beautiful thing to recognize, you know. That is Psalms 91 verse 1 and Psalms 91 verse 2. Uh, I want to let you guys know that the king is alive and he will take his faithful. And you guys got to be prepared because the king is going to come when you're least expected. This is for everybody in this whole world. Accept Jesus Christ. Be free. Live forever in eternity with him. With peace, love, joy. Because the Savior is going to come back. like Just like he came the first time. He's going to come back. And you know, you guys got to be ready because it's going to be judgment. Judgment in the world. The world's going to, you know, he's going to make a new heaven. And this, this earth right now is going to be destroyed. But... We who are the true faithful, we are going to go with him together. We will be with him in the air, with him forever and ever and ever. So, you know, you guys got to be ready because the time is ticking. You know, we can't wait. We can't just, we can't keep waiting and thinking that nothing's going to happen. When something's going to happen is when you're not going to be prepared. And we want, God wants you to be prepared. You know, Jesus loves every single one of you guys, even the sinners. But he hates to sin. So that means we got to have a born again spirit. We got to repent, accept Christ, live a godly life, you know, obey him. You know, I know we're not perfect, but we got to change our lifestyle and change it for him because he is our life. You know, without Jesus, you guys can't do anything. You guys need desperately need Jesus with your whole life. It's like a, whole, a rope, you know, like you're holding on to a rope for dear life. Not trying to fall in a deep ocean, you know, like you don't want to like drown. You're trying to, you're like 500 feet up, you know, in the mountains with the rope. And if you let go of that rope, you're going to drown and you don't know what's going to happen. There's going to be rocks underneath it. So the point is, is that you just think about Jesus. Think about his heavenly hand. You grabbing into his heavenly hand, not letting go because you let go. There's two directions, heaven or hell. You don't want to let go and, and drown in hell. You want to hold on for, for dear life and go to heaven with Jesus. So my message today is security, have faith in Jesus. You know, that verse I just read to you guys, you guys, if you, you guys really apply Jesus in your heart, he will protect you and guide you and you'll be secure. You know, he, he, he will give his angels in charge over you to keep you in all your ways. He will direct your path. No evil will come towards you. You you go right. You go right through the evil. You know, like nothing happened. That's how God will protect you. Like you could go in a dangerous world and still be protected by God Almighty. You call the name of the Lord, you will be saved. He will protect His faithful. You protect people who love Him, who call upon His name, who obey Him, who are faithful. You know, He will never leave you nor forsake you. So the message is, to, the message is to remember Jesus, accept Jesus for your life, have eternal life with him because there's no other. I'm the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Only Jesus Christ, you know. Don't be afraid. Do not be dismayed for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Wherever doubts there, wherever trials, wherever tri tribulations, wherever like hardships, wherever suffering, Jesus Christ will always be with you through the midst of that. And he'll guide you away from that. And you can feel joy, peace, happiness. He can make your suffering into the happiest moment in your life. He could use your suffering for for to grow you up, to be the person he want, he created you to be. So think about the truth, which is Jesus Christ. Have faith. Be you know resurrected with Him forever in heaven, and just have the best. You know He'll give you the best if you just ask. Ask, and you you will be given to you. Seek, and you'll find. Knocking will be open. So if you apply these things in your heart and really seek Jesus Christ, imagine what you're going to become. You're going to become the, you're going to be, you can't explain under, you can't understand what you're going to become because you're going to become something special, more special than a flower that blooms in the sunlight. You're going to be a, you're going to be like blooming continuously in Jesus' light. He loves you. But yeah, God bless you guys. And remember, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior of your life. God bless. Peace.